Hello, everyone. I'm Jing Yao from Renmin University of China. Today, I will introduce our work, FAPS, a privacy protection enhanced personalized search framework. I will present this work from the following aspects. Personalized search is a way to tailor document list for each user based on the user's interests. In personalized search, every user owns a query log that contains her detailed search history. In this light, the first user seek information about Java language, iPhone, Steve Jobs, and so on. We mine the user's preferences from the log to build her interest profile. For example, we infer the first user may be an IT engineer, and the second user is a fruit farmer. Currently, both users issue the query Apple. The personalized ranking model should return search results based on the issued query and the user profile. Thus, results about the Apple company and products tend to be returned to the first user, while search results about fruit Apple are returned to the second user. This process mainly involves three materialized components, the query log, the created user profile, and the personalized ranking model. With regard to the content privacy, the most sensitive part is each user's original query log. It might contain much personal information. The second is the user profile, which reflects user interests. The personalized ranking model has no direct access to the original log, hence it contains much less privacy. To protect, to prevent user privacy leakage, we plan to explore the critical issue of privacy protection in personalized search. Currently, many models have been proposed for search without personalization including traditional peak-click model and recent deep learning-based models. However, all of them ignored privacy protection issue. Some solutions for privacy protection in search mainly consider the identifiability and the linkability of privacy. They adopt anonymous user ID or group user ID to mask user identities. Others hide the user's real search intent through adding some fake queries. Though effects of privacy protection have been achieved, they still expose the user's behaviors to the server and collect the logs to train a personalization model on the server. Currently, users access search engines through their own internet devices with certain computing, storage, and communication capabilities, such as smartphones. Thus, to prevent user privacy leakage, we can store the privacy-sensitive data on the client devices and compu complete some computing tasks locally. But a user's personal data is too limited to train a reliable personalized model. Federated learning is a great technique to train a shared model with all users' data distributed on their individual devices. It maintains a global model on the central server. Each client trains a global model with local data and sends the model update to the server to improve the current global model. To train a shared high-quality personalization model with query logs distributed on all users' devices, we adapt federated learning to personalize the search and design a privacy protection enhanced framework FedPS. With this framework, we enhance privacy protection of personalized search and saves the bandwidth of exchanging query logs. This is the FedPS framework. The user enters a query on her own client. The client sends the issued query accompanied with several cover queries to the search engine. Then the personalized ranking model deployed on the client adjusts the document list of the real query and presents the personalized result to the user. The issued query, general document list, personalized document list, and the user's clicks are recorded in the local query log. We hide 
reflect the user's general query intent among a set of unrelated Kafka queries on the server side. For example, a Kafka query bird's nest stadium is added for the true query museum in Baltimore. We first train a topic model on the whole document set to infer the topic of the issued query. Then, cover queries are generated on different topics. Different from recording cover queries into the search log, we just add cover queries when submitting the query to the search engine and filter those fake queries locally. Therefore, the user profile in our framework will not be influenced by cover queries. All clients and the central server cooperate to train the personalized ranking model. In each step, first, the server samples key clients and sends the latest personalized ranking model to them. Second, each selected client updates the model for e epochs with the local log data. Then, all the selected clients send the parameter updates to the personalized ranking model back to the server with the data kept locally. Third, the server aggregates the parameter updates to improve the current model. FedPS trains the shared personalization model in a synchronous way to prevent the server from waiting too long for the clients with a poor connection or computation. We set maximum response time and ignore those clients without response during this period. If we select one client in each step, all available clients are accessed one by one to update the model trained by the last client. The parameter updates may expose the user's privacy to subsequent users. If we select all users, a lot of time is spent in every step. To balance effects and efficiency, we set k as an appropriate value between 1 and n. After training the model with the existing log data on all clients, users will continuously perform search and generate new query logs. Thus, we can further update the personalized ranking model with new data. We set a fixed time interval to retrain the model from scratch or update the previous model with only the newly generated data. During search process, different users click different documents under the same query. Therefore, the whole logs of all users suffer from non-IID. This is one challenge for standard federated learning. We set PPS as the personalized ranking model in our framework to alleviate the problem of data hetero heterogeneity. PPS sets up a module with personal word embeddings for each user, trained from the user's own search data. This model, module can adapt to the user's personal data distribution, thus alleviate data heterogeneity. All parameters of PPS can be divided into personal word embeddings, global word embeddings, and parameters of the ranking module. The personal word embeddings are updated with the user's data, which contain a wealth of user privacy and should be kept on the client. Parameters of the personalized ranking model contain the least privacy. The global word embeddings are knowledge shared by all users. Whether and how to upload the global word embeddings depend on the requirement of privacy protection. FedPS mitigates the privacy risks associated with centrally connecting data, but there are still some problems. First, the only central server may become the performance bottleneck in the training process due to communicating with a large number of clients. Second, the exist potential risks of privacy attacks indirectly uploading the parameters updates to the server. Third, Client devices with limited communication, computing, or storage abilities may slow down the entire pr training process. We addressed above issues by introducing proxies and group servers to improve the flattened FedPS into a hierarchical structure.
Group servers are set to relieve the communication pressure. This structure can dynamically adapt to large-scale user scenarios by increasing group servers. In addition, the clients access the server through a trustworthy and reliable proxy for privacy protection. We set proxies at the safe edge gate at home, edge server of a work organization, and so on. Under this layered model, the operations are as follows. Communicating with server or clients. The central server cannot directly connect to the clients, but through a group servers and proxies. Proxies are much fewer than clients, and there are a series of group servers responsible for com communication, thus solving the communication bottleneck. Uploading the model updates. When a client uploads the parameter updates, it first sends the updates to the proxy for aggregation, then proxy uploads the aggregation to the group server, breaking the link between the updates and the user on the server side. Avoid user privacy leakage. Uploading issued queries. The client under a proxy uploads their queries to the server through the same proxy which hides each single user in a group of users and protects the user privacy. Offloading computing task. The proxies are trustworthy and reliable. Thus, the clients with weak communication storage or computing abilities can offload their computing tasks to the proxies. To conclude, FATPS proxy addresses the performance bottleneck of the central server. The limited connection and communication with of clients and the privacy attack of the flat model. The setting of our experiments are listed as follows. We evaluate our model on two non-personalized search logs, the public AOL data and a commercial data set. We select several neural ranking models, personalized search models, and privacy enhanced models as baseline. We use several ranking metrics to evaluate the ranking qualities, as well as KL divergence for privacy protection capability. This is the overall results, including the privacy protection effect and ranking quality. We find, first, FedPS protects the user privacy best and achieves better personalization results than other privacy-enhanced personalized models. Second, FATPS is adapted to various learning-based personalized search models and attains comparable results to them. Third, FATPS proxy outperforms FATPS flat. The number of sampled client K in each step and the approach of the model is trained locally in each step are two main parameters to be determined. We find a larger K saves wall clock time, but makes the model converge slowly. A smaller K tends to achieve greater results. Developing more local updates could reduce training runs, but lose some on the model effects. To test whether FATPS proxy can reduce the performance burden and promote training efficiency, we compare the required communication time of FATPS flat and FATPS proxy. T is the communication time, D is the delay. We can see FATPS flat is easily slowed down by devices with limited, limited connection, causing additional delay time. FATPS proxy is almost not affected by these errors, showing robust performance and higher efficiency. Finally, we conclude this paper. First, we focus on the privacy protection issue in personalized search and propose a privacy protection enhanced framework, FATPS. Second, in FATPS, we store the user's privacy sensitive data on the client and employ federated learning to jointly train a shared personalized ranking model. Two specific models are implemented. Third, Experimental results confirm that our framework protects user privacy without affecting the model accuracy too much. 
In the future, we will explore techniques for stronger user privacy protection. Thanks for your attention. If there are any questions, please email me or ask me online.